with that. And closer to home, we're going to hear about a dedicated phone line that's been set up for people who've been the victim of a disability hate crime. Now, I suppose it's something you don't really know about unless it's affected either you or somebody who's close to you. We're going to find out more about this on the programme shortly. Do stay with us. And more of your calls, this has got you this morning. More of your calls on litter. Should people be fine for dropping it? Of course they should, but how do you do it? You're really going to have somebody standing up in front of a magistrate. You know, and the magistrate's going to say, you are fine for dropping an, uh, an empty crisp packet. I mean, surely, is that going to happen? Uh, but I'd love your thoughts on it this morning. 0151 709 9333. The text 81333. Start your text with Mersey and you're welcome to send me an email as well. Tony.snell at bbc.co.uk Tony Snell at breakfast. BBC Radio Merseyside. Now, Merseyside Charity is launching a dedicated phone line for people who've been the victim of a disability hate crime. Now, Daisy UK offers signposting support and also intervention for disabled people and their families too. It was set up by Dave Kelly in 2001 and Dave's with me in the studio this morning. Good morning to you, Dave. Hello, Tonelli. Good morning. Uh, I I always feel a little bit twitchy when I say it's good to see you because you can't see me, can you? Oh, no, don't worry. You you still carry on with how you'd normally say things. Otherwise, it'd it'd sound funny if you said, it's good to hear you. Yeah, exactly. Then they think you're blind. Well, <laughs> well, you are. I mean, you, you, oh, you, I am. <laughs> you, you have no sight. And uh, yeah. was was it your own experience that made you want to set up Daisy UK? Day? Yeah, um, you know, I went blind. You know, around about fifteen years ago, and for two years I didn't accept me blindness. So I was I was walking around pretty vulnerable. And um, you know, feeling worlds, talking to wheelie bins, and but when you say there. you didn't accept it, how, I, I, how do you mean? I, I didn't accept me blindness. I didn't want to be blind. I wanted to be the old Dave Kelly. And it took you know, and this is what happens with disability, especially if um, if you acquire disability, yeah, um, you, you fight it. And I wouldn't use my cane because people would think I was blind. Well, I was blind. So uh, for those two years, I was vulnerable. I, I looked vulnerable. And you know, when the kids get on to, and people see. It, um, you know, if, if you look vulnerable, you're all vulnerable, and people will, um, you know, call your names or things. And I well, got has, that, has that happened to you? What what kind oh, of yeah. verbal abuse did you, you know, because you've got your cane there, you know, you're yeah. doing your best to get about, and yeah. what people are giving you stick for this? Yeah, well, I'm I'm six foot two, and you know, and, and I've grew up, you know, and you know, on, on black roads and, and things, and I, you know, uh, but you know, once you you look vulnerable, and you, and yeah, you, you start kind of, um, you know. People see it in a different light. Then you're an easy target. Aren't you? You're an easy target, and and you know you, you know you, you get the proverbial eggs on the door, and people coming up and shaking a hand in front of you. Can you see? Because I don't look blind, you know. And and, and when I didn't have me cane, especially, I, I just looked like um, well, well, the guy's either on drugs or he's uh, drunk. So be, be, because I mean, you you, do, you don't look blind, uh, uh, as as you've said there. And and people have actually thought you were drunk or you were on drugs, just as you're you're trying to go about your everyday well, business. Well, yeah, because it's um, you know, you, yeah, I can't see other people, and I, I still try to get out the house. And I used to feel the walls to get to the the end of the streets, as I said, uh, you know, we were talking about bins today as well, uh, wheelie bin day was murder for me, because, you know, they're everywhere, and now there's red ones, blue ones, green ones. So we wouldn't think of that though, Dave, you know, people uh, who, who, who have, um, yeah, who can see, the last thing on your mind is, uh, you just walk past the wheelie bin, or somebody's, yeah. somebody's bumped up the car on the pavement or whatever, oh, that, that must yeah, be a nightmare yeah. for you as well. Well, it, definitely, well I always say people, uh, we don't use the canes, you are blind, we're fighting it. Um, I just say uh, roll up your uh, left trouser leg, and you can soon tell if they're blind or not. Mm. You see, like uh, terrible gashes on the shins where you, you have walked into the cars or the bruises, really yeah. bends and bruises. So, I, I went through that. So, what, what does your charity do then, Dave? How's it going to help? Okay, well, at Daisy UK, what, what we're trying to do is um, because people have come up to me and said that you know they've been a victim of hate crime. Now, hate crime is not just you know the the uh, uh, latter side of a crime, it could be you know, like abuse and, in some cases, you know, uh, murder, which is terrible. But it starts off, you know, pe- people being threatened, being shouted at, spat at, um, you know, that, you know, to a lesser extent, bullied and and, mm. and, and from school to outside. And we're trying to, um, you know, uh, combat that. And uh, people are scared to go to the police for whatever reasons. And, and, and we're working with, uh, very closely with um, Merseyside Police on this. How have they been? Oh, they've been fantastic. They, you know, they've been giving us loads of help and support. And they've been absolutely wonderful. Because they realise the lack of reporting for uh, disability hate crime, for the other, um, uh, uh, the other hate crimes, such as uh, race 
and uh, gender, gender and that, kind gender of thing, and that. Yeah, yeah. you know the, the thing is a pretty high and you and you and if you think about disability is it's got no barriers no boundaries whether you're black white blue green gay mm. whatever uh, you can still have a disability and um you know they realize the figures were very very low so you know through days of uk and our third party reporting we're like a buffer for the police so we help people who may be you know victims or even families you know you have someone in a family you might you feel yeah maybe a victim or neighbors maybe able to spot things you know something's going on like the kids and you're going to launch this later on uh, as well and give us the number as well david okay it's uh, 0800 694 2123 always good to have a free phone number there isn't it yeah well it is and and we've got like uh, trained staff there that can help them report it to the police if they want to and if it's uh, uh, you know because some people may not want what he wants is the end of whatever's happening yeah. do, do you want to draw a line underneath it and, and you're going to try and this obviously costs money you're going to try and raise funds have I got this right you're going to do a skydive yeah well <laughs> <laughs> that's it I'm here flying the plane <laughs> <laughs> yeah I'm not jumping out you can fly it but you're not landing it uh, Snelly I'm blind but I'm not stupid <laughs> I'm not going to be jumping out of any plane no uh, 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 you know the uh, days UK stuff and, and some parents that we've been working with have uh, volunteered to, uh, you know, do a skydive. And I said, if you raise over 500, I'll even give you a parachute. Oh, <laughs> Dave, listen, thanks very much indeed for coming in. OK, roll okay. up your trouser leg. I want to see your shin. Oh, sorry, so, I know, you've got all the scars from the week. Oh, look at that. You've even had a shave as well. Uh, good to <laughs> see watched. you, mate. Yeah, good to see you. You look after yourself. Thanks, and that number, Sammy. correct me if I'm wrong, Dave, 0800 694 2123. Yeah, that's Very the best of luck Kelly. with it. Really appreciate it. Mornings from 10 o'clock. Spoke to a fellow called Dave Kelly this morning. Dave's blind and uh, gets a bit of stick from where he lives. Um, and he was brought up in Anfield, Brett Road, you know, and he's a big strapping guy, you know, so he's no mug. Uh, but just because he has a disability, he's been getting stick from people, which I find it really hard to comprehend. But it is a shocking fact that people are bullied, tormented and abused just because they have a disability. Now, a Merseyside charity has come up with a special phone number for anyone who's been the victim of a disability hate crime. Well, we've heard about gender hate crime and race hate crime. This is exactly the same. It's being launched uh, this evening by Daisy UK, who will help uh, people through the process of reporting what's happened uh, to police and give them advice and support, more to the point. And earlier, as I mentioned, we heard from Dave Kelly, who set up Daisy UK. Now I'm joined in the studio by Kim Nicholson, who's a volunteer there as well. Uh, good morning to you, Kim. Good to see Hello. you. Uh, you don't really think about it, do you, until it actually happens to you? No, I, I think people are very unaware of disability, unless they've got maybe someone in the family or they yeah. know someone who's got a disability. Um, and your disability is your hearing impaired, right, is that right? Yeah, I wear two hearing aids. How, how, how bad is it? I mean, I'm not too too loud. We're in a studio, we've got speakers on, yeah. so, you know, can, can it be a little bit kind of oof sometimes? It's definitely easier when I'm one-to-one with someone. Okay. Because um, I lip-read as well, but um, I wear my two hearing aids every day and they help me get through because so, otherwise I just wouldn't be able to... So do you find people talking to you like that sometimes oh, yeah, so yeah, they, they can they understand? Yeah, like you're stupid. Well, yeah. How does that make you feel when yeah. people talk to you Yeah, oh, it makes you feel that? awful. It makes you feel awful because, um, you know, you just want to say to them, you just want to talk back to them like that and see how they feel, you mm. know, because um, just talk to you like you're simple, you know, and you... Have, have, you, have you been the victim of, of one of these hate crimes yourself? What's happened to you? Um, well, I've had hearing problems basically all my life, really. Yeah. And how old um, are you now? I'm 20. 20, OK. Yeah. Um, it was worse through high school um, because, like, people used to point them out to me all the time and um, I started feeling ashamed of wearing them, so I ended up not wearing them. And then, like, people would isolate me because I couldn't hear them and it was, like, too difficult for me to keep up a conversation with mm. them. So I'd end up just sitting out like on my own I know it sounds really sad that doesn't it but um that must have been difficult though because it's it harder was, it it's was. hard enough in school isn't it you know because you yeah. got you know teenager yeah. stuff and all that it's it's difficult enough you know yeah. without a disability but to, to have yeah. that and to be isolated mm-hmm. as well that must have been a, a tough and time and I actually ended up um I never ended up doing my GCSEs in 2007 I had um agoraphobia um didn't go out the house like almost a year and um like that was probably like the toughest time in my life. Really, mm. I lost a lot of my friends through that because I couldn't. I like I don't like uh, phone conversations because uh, you know if I can't see the lips moving, sure. I 
tend to not get what so you, you, you can hear me through through the hearing aids as well but you yeah. will, you need the lip sync as well just to help things along a little yeah, bit yeah. yeah um obviously it's much better with the hearing aids because but like in high school i wasn't wearing them because i just felt ashamed i just felt ashamed because uh, people would just point them out and okay. make me feel different about it but you've come full circle now and you don't mm. recognize that kim from all those years ago oh, because God, you're no. you strike to, to anybody to come into a studio and talk to me yeah. uh of a morning time you know with red lights on and clocks and computers you need a bit of confidence to be able to do that yeah you're helping other people now aren't you through yeah, daisy uk yeah definitely um i love working with daisy uk uh, they've just brought my confidence up so much um like as soon as I walked in to the office, met Dave Kelly, um, just made me feel completely at ease. He's infectious, isn't he, Dave? Oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Tell me, tell me about the number as well, because there may be people who've suffered a similar thing to yourself, mm -hmm. like Dave as well, and you yeah. don't really have any. You don't know, have to I put think, up with this. This is a number yeah. that that you can call yeah. now. I think the biggest thing um, for people to remember is that like emotional abuse is just as bad as physical. Because I mean, I think if people get punched or whatever, you know. Yeah. It's think, there, it's done, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, people can see that, can't they? But the emotional one is just torture, you know, it's horrible. And um, you've, got, you've got the number there, haven't you? Yes, I've got the number here. Um, I just think anyone, it doesn't matter how small they think it is or how trivial they think it, it is, ring the number if you feel... If you, know, you feel as though this is yeah, for you, yeah. if you feel, yeah. Uh, 0800 uh, 694 2123. Yeah. OK, 0800 694 2123. It's an 0800 number, and that's a free call as well. And we'll have that and all the details of Daisy UK uh, with the A-team from uh, 10 o'clock this morning. Good to see you, you confident thing. You. Yeah. <laughs> Great to see you. Listen, thanks very much indeed for coming in. Do yes, appreciate it. Thank so you. Much You're very welcome. Thank, Thank you. you. Uh, it's BBC Radio Merseyside. There's Kim Nicholson there, a volunteer at Daisy UK. And as I say, that number once again, 0800 694 2123.